Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. We're going to be going over stalls, and more specifically, I'm going to try to make a wing that doesn't stall, basically. So the wing itself is going to be made out of four little wings, like this one here. Long, skinny wings that I added an airfoil to. And there's going to be about four of them, I believe. Actually, there is four of them. Uh, as you can see here, this is what the wing looked like when it was finished. Uh, it's real simple. But anyway, I wanted to start out by seeing how well the fun cub flew normally. And I wanted to be able to visualize a stall. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting uh, little pieces of yarn. After I got all the yarn cut into semi-equal pieces, I began laying them out onto a piece of tape like this. And then what I'm doing is I'm just taping it to the wing. And I repeat that about three times so that the whole wing is basically covered in little pieces of ribbon. When I got finished, the plane looked like this. I have multiple pieces of ribbon laid out on the wing. So now what happens is when the airplane's flying, all of the ribbon is usually straight. But in this case right now, you can see that some of the ribbon is all tangled up and mixed up. But then when the airplane's flying fast, you can see that all of the yarn is straight with the wing. All right, so here is an onboard view of the wing. And as you can see, when the plane stalls, all the yarn goes nuts all over the wing. And But when the plane picks up speed and starts going fast, all the yarn goes straight and level with the wind flow over the wing. So that's basically showing that when the plane goes too slow, the wing stalls and the air can't get over the wing. So to start with building this wing, I'm using some Home Depot uh, insulation foam, I believe. And it's just that Pink Panther stuff. And what I did is I cut it into equal strips. And then I basically just sanded it into an airfoil. And I had to repeat that four times and it just took forever. And it was not fun. But they ended up looking up pretty dang good. So here's one of the finished wings. Uh, as you can see, it's super simple. It's just a skinny airfoil. So after I was done sanding and shaping each wing, I decided to laminate each one with a little bit of uh, carbon fiber masking tape, I guess. Uh, it was because each one of them were like super weak, and I thought that that would add a little bit of strength, which it did. So now what I'm doing here is I'm making a brace or a, I guess a rib so that I can hold each of the wings in the right position. So as you can see, it's in the shape of an airfoil and I'm just cutting out a little slot for each wing to fit into, if that makes sense. And I, ha I ended up making, I think, four uh, braces to hold the wings. All right, so now I'm just attaching the wings to the ribs All right, so now what I'm doing is I am cutting out little airfoil shaped end caps to, I guess, add a little bit more support to the wing. All right, so uh, after that, the uh, wing was basically finished and all that was left to do was go take it to the park and try it out. All right, we've got the uh, fancy Fun Cup wing built here. It's made out of four different wings. Each of them are an airfoil. Hopefully, we'll get some uh, good uh, performance out of this. The goal is to like have a super low stall speed. That's the goal. Like I don't want this plane to stall is my goal. So, instead of putting ailerons, because I was too lazy and excited, I didn't put ailerons on it. So, instead of ailerons, we got a rudder. Only rudder on here. So let's uh, hope that I have enough control. Holy crap, that flies so weird. Okay, let's uh, do a quick stall here, stall test. <laughs> that was weird. I wasn't gonna get out of that. Look at that. Nothing. That was full back elevator, guys. Oh my word. Okay, there was a buffer there. Wow. Okay. Wow. 
Wow, wow. So what we're gonna do here in a little bit is we're going to add So what we're gonna do in a little bit is we're gonna add yarn to each one of those wings and the camera here is, is gonna film the wings basically and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly. I'm gonna keep pitching it up trying to stall it and we'll be able to see which wing is stalling and which wings aren't. Each one of these wings is at a different angle. So we got an angle of attack that we can do here where this wing is, is level. <laughs> and then this wing is, you, you get the point. They're each, uh, we've got some yarn on each one of the wings to get a good idea of exactly what the air is doing. Um, I'm really not sure what to expect. Um, I'm kind of expecting these will be stalled and these won't be when I'm doing really slow flight. <clears throat> but we'll see. I got a camera up here on the tail to record what that does. And so, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Oh my word, it just won't stall. I, I'm giving it full back elevator. Okay, that was a stall. But it just <laughs> came right out of it. Oh my word, look at that. Oh. 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 Well guys, anyway, I think that's probably enough footage to really see what's happening, but that is a bummer because I can't fix this here. From what I saw, it looked like the wings were not stalled at all when I was doing a slow flyby. I don't know if I even saw any of these ribbons distorted at all. So I'm guessing that the plane didn't really stall at all. So we'll see. We'll see when I review this footage. Um, I don't know what to expect, but definitely looks promising, guys. Please uh, give me a like and a comment. Subscribe. I need you guys to support. I also need your guys' ideas. So if you guys have any ideas for what we could do next with the Fun Cub or any of my planes, let us know. And uh, thanks for watching.